In the Teeds and Land Dispute case, both the dispossessed landowner Benny Crawford and the Guam Airport Authority are moving for a summary judgment, hoping this decades-old dispute can finally be over. In previous arguments, the Federal Aviation Administration's position was not clear, but now the FAA has weighed in, which could complicate the case even further. Here's one. Vicente Benny Crawford has been fighting for compensation for his land that was condemned by the U.S. government after World War II, but returned to Guam decades later. But instead of returning the land to the Teeds and landowners, it was used to build the AB Wanpat International Airport. Crawford says he and many other dispossessed landowners have never received compensation for the land. So Crawford took the airport and Gov Guam to court. It's been an ongoing battle for decades, and local laws were even created in an attempt to compensate the landowners. However, Crawford says these laws never saw the light of day, at least not for the Teeds and landowners. He says in court documents that there's a disparity in the way that Gov Guam has compensated landowners. Some have either gotten their land back or received compensation either through land swapping or in the form of cash. For him and many others, not a single dime. This, he believes, is a form of discrimination. Crawford is suing Gov Guam and the airport authority for violation of his constitutional rights, among other allegations. He also contends unjust enrichment for the airport authority since they have profited millions of dollars while conducting business on his ancestral lands. But the airport authority says they have no hand in any of this. In court papers, the airport authority says they were never involved in the creation of local laws that promised to compensate Teeds and landowners. To emphasize their argument, they say that federal law prevents them from using revenue generated from the airport operations to pay the dispossessed landowners. In fact, the airport authority says doing so could hurt them. The airport authority also states in court papers that all of Crawford's claims against the airport authority, quote, are preempted by federal law. The Federal Aviation Administration has now given specific guidance in this case, which establishes that from the moment GIAA took ownership of the land owned by Mr. Crawford's ancestors, it has been prevented by its federal legal obligation from either giving that land to Mr. Crawford or providing Mr. Crawford with additional compensation. It goes on to say, quote, if GIAA violated this restriction by using any of its revenues for non-airport purposes, ownership of the land reverts to the United States government at its option. Both parties are seeking summary judgment in this case. Crawford is also asking for an injunctive and a declaratory relief. You can read the motions online at PacificNewsCenter.com.